Hello there and welcome to the old horseshoe in the banks of the Olentangy. Home to the Ohio State Buckeyes, one of the great settings in sport. And man, this place is rocking today. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history. But right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. As we'll see the number three team in the country, the Penn State Nittany Lions, taking on the winners of three straight, the Ohio State Buckeyes. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Hermstreet. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. away to start us off. And here's the return from inside the five. So Penn State's offense trots out there to open this game. Here we go. You can feel the juice in this building. What a privilege, Kirk, to be part of this rivalry game. Well, there's nothing like rivalry games. You know, no matter what you've done all year, you get your opportunity to win this game today, and it can change everything. Easy throw to a wide-open receiver downfield. And they'll move the six on that one. It's a first down at the 42. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it go quickly. It's picked off. He tried to fire the ball into a tight window. Not much on the return there, but the takeaway will give the offense the football at the 46. Well, here it is, opening drive of the game. We're just trying to find that rhythm, run the ball, a couple passes, and this one backfires. Poor decision by the quarterback. That's 100% on him, and this defense now gives their own offense great field position here to get points on the board. First down here for this offense. Looking to pass, it's Brown. Pass caught, and he's tackled after the catch. Offense getting set up, here's second down. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Second down, we're gonna throw it. Caught on the outside, it's Tate. Defense shoves him out of bounds, not much of a gain there. Third down, I'm coming after that completion. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Makes a quick grab. And uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. And someone moved this a bit too early. And it cost him five yards. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Five-yard penalty makes it first and 15 now. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Physical defending, that one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. The freshman's able to get home with a sack. I like the call here, but you can't run long, developing play-action passes like that if the offensive line is not going to give the quarterback time to throw. Defense looking for back-to-back -back sacks. Third down now. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. And it's intercepted. Going the other way. Can they stop him? Powers the pick with a nice return before finally being brought down. Well, this isn't exactly how we envision this game getting started. You see an interception early. You're thinking, okay, great opportunity. Bang. They throw an interception right back. So everything is even. We can start all over, and the offense comes back out on the field. And the Penn State offense comes back on the field. We'll see if this quarterback can shake off the interception he threw in the last possession. Keeping it on the ground here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. An important second down play coming up. Tailback takes the handoff again. 
The game moves the ball to a third and four. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, they're going to throw for the first down. The sure hands, it's Wallace. Completion gains about six yards, but now it's a fourth down call. The Indy Lions will bring their punt team onto the field. The offense will have to punt for the first time this afternoon. And this one will be fair caught. Fresh set it down to the offense, first down. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Off the play fake on first down. Caught behind the line. It's Smith. The defense drops him for a loss. He went backwards there. A second down behind the sticks now. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Catch made. A lot of space now. Stop at the 36. That's good enough to move the sticks. The foot guys will come to the line to run the hurry up. Just another great example, Chris, of an Ohio State quarterback and receiver combination being so dangerous. Think about it, over the last eight or ten years, I think Ohio State has been as consistent as anybody when it comes to the passing game and the efficiency that comes with it. Dropping back, it's Brown. Delivers from the pocket, complete over the middle. And an explosive gain moves the ball across midfield. They'll spot it at the 42. It's really good timing here between the quarterback and the receiver. And how about the receiver downfield? Does a nice job of finding that open space in the zone of the defense. And as a defense, you're just basically throwing your hands up in the air because they had that covered relatively well. Just a good play call and good execution. Second down play coming up. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Just trying to get rid of it. Just gets the pass away, but took a shot that time. Buckeyes will bring their punt team on the field now. And the puck will land in the end zone for a touchback. And the Penn State offense is back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. The defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. On the run, it's Allen. Finds room at the 30. They'll stop him at the 34. That will be a first down. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. And the quarterback keeps it here. He shreds the tackle. They stop him after a six-yard gain, so second and four. The quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. Back to throw. It's Allen. Finds his target, and it's complete. And he moves the ball across midfield and picks up a first down. The Nittany Lions are moving quickly down the field. First down. They're going to throw the football. Intercepted. Picked off by the defense. And that's a solid return after the interception. Oh, Chris, against zone coverage like that and the ball thrown deep down the middle of the field, you've got to layer that throw in. Very challenging throw, requires a nice touch with a strong arm, and the quarterback that time just did not make the throw. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. The last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. They'll run it here. Breaks loose at the 40. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. The Buckeyes will hustle to the line here to run the hurry up. Boy, that's a beautiful run here for the first down. Really living up to that reputation of the great backs that they've had over the years. Think about Archie Griffin and Eddie George, Ezekiel Elliott, J.K. Dobbins. Just so many great backs. We're seeing another one right here. Quick throw to his receiver. He's got it near the end zone. He'll be stopped short a couple yards from the goal line. 
You know, a lot of times college quarterbacks, they're more comfortable working to the outside. Here's an example of a quarterback with a full field read, and he hits a big play in the middle. He'll try to run it in on first and goal. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Backed up to the five-yard line now for second and goal. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Caught near the goal line. And he'll be stopped just short of the end zone at the one. So nothing in the previous play sets up a third and goal from the one. And through one quarter, it's been a duel of big-time receivers showing out early in this one. Getting set here now for the second period. Both offenses looking for some efficiency for a spark into that opening quarter. And third and goal, they'll try to run it in. And it'll be smothered right at the line for no gain. So a yard away from the end zone, the offense will go for it here on fourth down. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. He did not get it. A crucial play by this defense. What a fourth down stop. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front of the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. And it's really solid defense on that play. Tiny space at the 20. And the game will pick up the first down. Tackled at the 22. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. What a nice job here by this offensive line in the back to pick up this first down. And Chris, you know better than me growing up in this area. Penn State's offense and the ability to run the ball have been doing it as well as anybody in college football for decades. Going back to guys like the late, great Franco Harris, and Kajana Carter, and Larry Johnson, and Miles Sanders more recently, and of course, Saquon Barkley. I mean, the list goes on and on of great Penn State running backs, and I'm sure they're proud to see him running the football the way he is today. Scanning the field, it's Allen. Receiver makes the catch. Breaks loose at the 40. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. Inside the 10. He could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, Penn State. Well, it is an impressive start, Kirk. In an emotional game like this, to be so efficient, to click like that early, is impressive. Well, it's very impressive and a great way to start for this team because all the buildup and all the hype, now you can just settle in and play your game. Now they line up to kick the extra point. BAT is good. They jump in front, 7-0. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Return begins inside the 10. They'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. Last time, they were stopped on fourth and goal. Rolled the dice, came up empty. Can they get it going again here? That's just not a whole lot of options here for this quarterback on the RPO. The defense, give them credit. They did a nice job of sniffing it out. Wouldn't be surprised if the quarterback is second-guessing that decision of giving it to the back instead of pulling that and either running it himself or maybe making a nice throw. So the offense faces a third and manageable here from the 25-yard line. Can he make it to the marker? He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The Buckeyes come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. They go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and you got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. What guys look to keep this drive moving? Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Tackle made after a solid run by the junior. About time this offense gets going, it's a first and ten. Trying to find room. It's white. And they finally stop him, but a decent gain that time. 
Here's the second down play. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Heavy pressure. He lets it go. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw that time. And now third down coming up. Off play action. He's looking to throw. Looking for his big tight end. Oh, he misfires again. Three in a row. The Buckeyes will line up to kick it away. We're going to kick it away for the second time. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And the Nittany Lions offense retakes the field. They scored a touchdown on their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. Uh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. Second down after that previous play. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. They make the tackle there, but a penalty marker is on the field. Let's see what that's about. Will that holding penalty be a drive killer? And this crowd coming to life here trying to help the defense get a stop the offense pin back looking downfield it's Aller. catch made on the right side tackle quickly after the catch she'll be short of the marker well a serious challenge for this offense you don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. how much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down doesn't hold on good hit by the db now it brings up fourth down and the Nittany lions will have to kick this away and he'll kick it away now for the second time And the returner brought down by the coverage team. The guys up front line up. It's first down. Looking out throwing here to start the drive. He's going for a big play downfield. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes. That kind of play is almost impossible to defend. When a quarterback is throwing the ball with that kind of accuracy and timing, and the receiver runs a route like this, good luck trying to stop it. So maybe this is a great start for this combination, this quarterback and receiver, for a big day. Now the try here for the extra point. Knocks it right through. Now they get set to kick it away. And so it'll be a touchback. Ball spotted at the 25. And the Penn State offense comes back on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. They'll bring him down right at the 30-yard line. Second down after that run on the previous play. Back goes in motion now. Let's see how the defense adjusts. They've got it, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. First down here, the offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning. The clock has stopped. We've reached the two-minute warning before halftime. You set it down to the offense. First and ten. To throw, it's Aller. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. Tackle is made very near midfield. Good enough for a first down. They'll crank the tempo here for this next play. On first and ten, look at the throw. Makes the ground. It's Weber. And a big gain down near the 29. They're threatening. The drive stays alive with that completion for a first down. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first of the half. Offense getting set. Second down play here. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. Here's a screen pass to the running back. And he'll head out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for a first down. Here comes a throw from the red zone. And he just throws it away there. Safe move. Had nobody open. Second down play coming up for this offense. And he'll set up to throw. 
That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag. Doesn't get it. Brings up third down. And the crowd coming to life here, trying to help this defense down in the red zone. Grab down the middle. It's Reynolds. He's brought down at the six. The offense will have first and goal right there. Timeout taken by the offense. And the Nittany Lions come to the line with first and goal. Offense looking to throw the ball. Misses the receiver. Incomplete. Second down and goal upcoming. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. They've got him. It's a sack for the defense. I know the offense will call a timeout. Some of the coach didn't like about this. Crucial play coming up. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. Brings up a fourth down. So they're short on fourth down. The coach decides to trot out the field goal team. And he knocks it right through the uprights. Hold on, there is a flag. If it's on the defense, First, it will foul, still foul. be put down. Kicker, kicker. Defense, defense. It's a costly penalty for the special teams. The offense coming back on the field. You just can't make contact with a kicker like that. Looking downfield, it's Aller. That one is over everyone's head, beyond the end zone and incomplete. Coming up, second down and goal. Send the back in motion. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Pass caught. Can he get in? Tackle after the catch, but the ball moves to the four-yard line. They crank up the tempo here for this important third down play. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. And that one is incomplete in the end zone. So it looks like they'll bring the field goal unit onto the field. So it'll be a chip shot from the right hash mark. The attempt is no good. He missed it. And the game remains tied. That's yeah, a missed opportunity for some points here. The way they were moving the football, I thought maybe a touchdown at the very least three points, but instead, he shanks it. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. It'd be a surprise if they took a risk here with the final seconds of the first half backed up near their own end zone. The back's got it. They'll tackle him at the 27. Quarterback, pre-snap adjustment snap for this defense. It's a heavy formation. Extra blockers on the field. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower, and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. And he's going to bring this out from a couple yards deep in the end zone. And they've got the returner corralled. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. On first down, it's play action. Freshman introducing himself to the quarterback there. Well, you got to do a better job with your fake as the quarterback. The defense did not bite at all on the play action, allowing them to continue to come after the quarterback and come up with that sack. Backed up to the 10-yard line at second and long. Back to pass. It's Brown. Receiver makes the grab. They bring him down after a short game there. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Got him. He's sacked. Interesting call here by the defense in their dime set with six defensive backs. Instead of manning up and applying pressure on the receivers, they sit back. Make it tougher on the quarterback. Make him have to read their zone coverage. He gets confused and allows the defensive line to get to the quarterback. The Buckeyes bring Number their punt nine. team onto the field. Awesome. 
and it's fair caught near the 40-yard line. And the Penn State offense is back out on the field. They're finally looking to click. This has been a struggle for both offenses so far. And they'll try to pick it up on the ground. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Now it's second down here. On the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Caught over the middle. It's Allen. He'll be taken down, but he crosses midfield of the 48. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Catch made on the left side. Nowhere to run. No corral him for no gain. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? From the shotgun, drops back. Grab behind the line. It's Allen. Hey, it's a game, but you get the sense that this offense wanted a little bit more from that play. Back to throw again. Bringing pressure. And a senior making a disruptive impact play. Chris, that quarterback seemed to be back there forever, waiting to find somebody open. He should have just thrown it away or just taken off. Instead, waiting all that time allows the defense to get to him. They come up with a sack. The Nittany Lions will line up to put it away. And now it's a high kick. He hit it straight up. The fair catch made at the 25-yard line. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? And there's the handoff. And test the middle and get stuck. That is just not open for business today. Offense getting set. It's second down. Quarterback changing the play now at the line. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. He stopped short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. Buckeyes will line up to punt it away. Here's the punt high in the air. Fair catch called for, but there's a flag down. We'll see what that's about. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing the Roughing kicker. kicker. Defense. 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 And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. The offense will keep going here after that special teams penalty. Grab down the middle. It's Tate. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. Second down after that completion. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Looking to pass here on second down. Cannot escape and down he goes. Chris, that is textbook by this defense in man-to-man -man coverage. Nowhere to go for this quarterback. He's looking around everywhere to find an open man. By the time he figures it out, it's a sack for the defense. Now the offense facing a third and long from their own 41. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. That deep shot is caught for a big game. Touchdown, Ohio State. And they will claim the second half lead. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath just like this. And when he catches the football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. And they'll set up for the PA2. The extra point makes the lead 14-7. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. He thought about returning it, but instead takes a knee. It'll be a touchback, and they'll start at the 25. And the Nittany Lions offense retakes the field. They'll try to pick up the yardage on the ground. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But I've been always impressed with defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Third down after that running play. Third 
to the air. It's Allen. The pass rush closing in. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying the lead. And the Nittany Lions will bring their punt team onto the field. And the returner elects to fair catch it, no return. Here comes the powerful Buckeye offense back onto the field. The last possession was a passing game clinic. They moved it right down for a touchdown. Can they keep it going? And they'll stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Getting set, here's second down. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Tipped and then drops. Chance to make a play, but instead it's third down. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. Down goes the quarterback. It's a sack. Well, another sack. You know, as the offensive coordinator, you're ahead in this game. Maybe you should change the game plan to help your quarterback a bit. This pass rush has gotten home way too many times, and you should focus more on preserving the lead. The Buckeyes will send the punt team onto the field. Now it's a very high kick straight up in the air. Returner decides to fair catch this. And the Penn State offense comes back on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Looking to throw it on first down. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. They stop the receiver, but that's a solid gain in that play. Pass complete and second down now. A handoff to the back. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Offense breaks the huddle and gets set. It's third down. And check out how he's been spreading the football around between his targets, getting everybody involved in this game. One quarter to go. Let's see if this sets up as a classic finish. Offense looking to keep the drive alive. It's third down. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Makes a quick catch. The Indy Lions pick up enough yardage for a fresh set of downs. By completion, good for a first down. The offense working with a new set of downs here. Neutral zone Defense. Defense. Penalty gives the offensive coordinator a little bit more room to work with now. So first down and five after the penalty. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Fires it to the wideout. Catch made on the right side. That's a big game. Brought down quickly, but the game moves the football to the 30. The Nittany Lions come up to the line in the hurry up. Well, this is a beautiful play when the timing is right, as we see right here. The receiver's got to do a good job of working his way back to the football as the quarterback is throwing it. The timing here is impeccable. It's a second and ten after the previous play. Play action fake. Looking to throw. They don't pick up the blitzers, and it's a sack. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. Defense looking to keep the pressure on. Third down coming up. To the air. It's Allen. Looking for the wide out. And it's complete downfield. Brought down quickly at the 14, but the offense is in the red zone. This could be a dramatic finish. Marching toward a tying touchdown. It's first and ten. It's a two-yard game. Second and eight coming up. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Looking to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. 
Well, that's just textbook right there. Great timing and recognition by the quarterback. Great route by this receiver. He gave a nice stem to the outside before he went to the post. Perfect timing, tough to defend, and an easy touchdown for this offense. And now they'll set up for the point after. And FPAT gives us a tie ball game here in the final quarter. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together with this run? You know, in the era that we live in, right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Offense facing a third and long from the 28. Got to have your pass protection in order in this play. Oh, it's intercepted. A critical late mistake here. And he's wrapped up after a solid return. Oh, Chris, you're in the fourth quarter. It's a tie game, and you throw an interception. Oh, my goodness. I know it's obvious, but you just got to take care of the football. It's that simple. Now their opportunity to take the lead is lost, and everything is flipped in the other direction. And the Penn State offense is back out on the field. It's an RPO. The quarterback gets it out quickly. I love how this quarterback is finding this slot receiver. Not only is he tough to handle, but it's what he's doing after the catch. He has such wiggle and quickness. He's tough to bring down, and you see more positive yards after the catch here. And the Nittany Lions looking to keep this drive rolling. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Grab behind the line. It's Weber. Brought down for a loss after the completion. Not what they were looking for. Man, the defense was all over that play. Just left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. getting set up. Here's second down. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. And that's a solid game for the defense able to bring him down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Give it to the back again. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. So on fourth down, it's an all-important field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. And the field goal is good. And with that, they regain the lead. Well, you talk about a clutch kick. Good job by the snapper and the holder. The kicker gives them the lead. But remember, this one is certainly a long way from being over here in the fourth. on the drive and now the kickoff team will boot it away he'll bring it out from his end zone solid coverage here they get him at the 15 that's where the offense will take over and the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field this drive is important last one ended in an interception let's see if they can get it going here they tackle him behind the line a loss of four first down loss sets up second and long from the 11 Dropping back, it's Brown. Snags a quick throw. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. 
but they don't connect. It's incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. The Buckeyes will send their punt team on the field. On the kick now for the fifth time today. And the returner decides to signal fair catch. Offense comes out to start this drive. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Offense goes to the pistol formation now. Single back takes the handoff. Breaking free at midfield. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Mitney Lance looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Good call here by the offense to be able to pick up this first down. And Chris, it makes you wonder, with under three minutes to go in this game and trailing, the defense sitting back in their base, I thought they might be in a little bit more of an aggressive mindset, turning the blitz loose, trying to create some plays to get the football back. Important second down play coming up. And they'll keep it on the ground, trying to run some clock. And he's brought down, but hold on, there's a flag on the play. Hold, 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 hold. Costly hold nullifies the play, backs him up 10 yards. Second down play coming up. He'll hand it off. And he's brought down, but there is a penalty marker out there. Let's check out this call. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. See if the offense can overcome that holding penalty. Here's the second down play. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. They bring him down. That's a very solid game, but still well short of the first down. Here we are late in a close game. Crucial play coming up. Third and long. Dropping back. It's Aller. Excellent protection all day to throw. He flings it now to the left. He moves the ball to the seven-yard line. Offense has a first and goal now. Oh, I love the call here by the offensive coordinator. Has the lead in the fourth quarter. It's third down. Instead of running, you throw it. Take a chance of a potential incompletion, but instead you trust your quarterback. Completion, first down, fresh set of downs, and you continue to work that clock. Been a decent game there before the defense brings him down. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. On second and goal, they'll give him another chance. Muscles across the goal line. Touchdown, Penn State. Well, that's why you practice right there, Chris. This offense had the pressure, the game on their back. They deliver, they get a touchdown, and now make this a two-possession game with under two to go. Like their odds of closing this game out. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point, up and good. A double-digit lead now here in the fourth quarter. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. And he'll just take a knee. Drive will start at the 25-yard line. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. The veteran quarterback, lucky that didn't result in a takeaway. That play makes it second and ten. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. Time is running out. They'll take a deep shot. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. And he'll drop back here on third down. This one's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. The offense stays on the field, down multiple possessions. Easy choice. Fourth down. He's throwing for it. And now in the final couple minutes, here's a deep shot. The QB throws his third pick of the day. They get him down after a short return, but the takeaway sets up the offense at the 43. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half, and the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. 
And the Nittany Lions offense retakes the field. This game is not over yet. Let's see how the offense plays it. They love to choose some clock here, but can't get too complacent. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. We'll hand it off. The tackle is made, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what that's about. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Costly holding penalty there. Backs him up 10 yards. Second down after that previous play. Looking for a gap. It's Allen. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Hand off to the back. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. The Nittany Lions will have to kick it away. It's a rough drive for the offense. Punter comes on and boot it away. Fair catch made at the 15-yard line. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Looking to throw. It's Brown. Receiver makes the catch. They bring him down quickly. A short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. And the offense wisely spikes the ball here to stop the clock. Crucial third down play right here. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Down late, they'll keep the offense on the field, trying to chip away at this lead. And he's throwing for it on fourth down. Pressure is coming. And he's brought down. A sack will end this drive. Huge play here by the defense. Chris, I understand being down a couple scores, it's fourth down, you've got good field position. Hey, let's keep this drive alive. I understand why you go for it. Unfortunately, not able to execute it. This could cost him the ball game. And the Penn State offense comes back on the field. Up by two possessions here, they have a chance to put the game on ice right now. And now it's victory formation. The quarterback will just kneel down. Really, everyone on both sides remember for a long time, Kirk, and it stings to fall short to your arch rival. Yeah, rivalries are always the ones that hurt the most. You have that game circled on your calendar every year. Some guys, they have a clock counting down to these kind of games, and to go through all that anticipation and fall short, it's always tough. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.